I got a phone call from a friend of mine, and he said, um, you have to get involved in this spill. It's going to change your career. It's going to define every part of you the rest of your life. You have to get in the game and get down here. I was as close to the well as any scientist could be. What ran through my mind first was, let's go out and get some baseline data, at least have some measurements about what was uh, there before the oil. When I heard about the oil spill and I realized that, that the blowout occurred at 1,500 meters deep, I knew that we didn't have any baseline data for the large fishes in that area. From a scientific point of view, this is an incredible opportunity to really understand how the ocean responds, how the system really functions. Before the Deepwater Horizon, a lot of scientists uh, hadn't worked on an oil spill before. Now we have many, many more people. A whole research community has developed. It's composed of engineers, it's composed of chemists, biologists. We all get to work on pieces of this very big puzzle. We're trying to see if we can come up with new, unique methods to understand um, the oil pollution process. Now what we're trying to do is understand, you know, how are um, pollution levels declining and what is the level that they're going to return to. This was my opportunity to serve the best interests of the country by being a fair arbiter of what we see in our evidence of what was going on. We've caught over 100 species of deep water fish. We've caught 34 species of deep water sharks. It's the biggest survey of deep water sharks that's ever been done in the Gulf of Mexico. The Deepwater Horizon event was the first oil spill in which they actually went down with a submarine and injected uh, dispersant into the, into the oil that was coming out of the earth. And so we're trying to simulate that process, uh, looking at how that dispersant breaks the oil up into very small droplets. When you have a very small droplet, you ask yourself, where do they finally end up? So in the series of controlled experiments that we perform in a laboratory, we try to answer these questions. The public was unsatisfied with the concept that the dispersant was just gone. And you could see these big tankers filled with this stuff being dumped in the ocean, and how could it just disappear and nobody know where it went? We were able to identify and quantify one of the active ingredients in the dispersant, and that's the first time that's been done for this oil spill. What we do is we build instruments to weigh the molecules that are in petroleum. And so we're able to track a whole segment of petroleum that has never been tracked before. People who've never seen the bottom of the ocean can't appreciate how just phenomenal it is. We saw eels and skates and a vampire squid, which I'd never seen before. I was prepared to see little recovery, and I was so relieved. The beaches have recovered. It's been a really exciting time to see how the science has formulated, how integrative and how cooperative the science community can be across all disciplines.